When we make decisions, we often overlook an important factor known as opportunity cost. It is the value of the options not taken or the benefit that could have been gained from an alternative option. Imagine you are planning to spend an evening watching a movie alone. The ticket costs $10. What's the opportunity cost here? It's the value of other options you do not choose. Instead of watching the movie, you could have read a captivating book or gone for a refreshing run or spent quality time with your beloved family. Each of those options comes with its own benefits, knowledge, health, and family. And by choosing the movie, you are giving up on those potential gains. The tricky part about opportunity cost is their implicit nature. They're not always visible or quantifiable, like the price tag on that movie ticket. The lurk in the shadows of our decision-making process often neglected because they are not immediately apparent or salient. Decision-makers, whether in professional or personal life, tend to fixate it on the explicit costs and benefits of an option while inadvertently disregarding the value of what they may be missing out on. Opportunity cost neglect can be traced to how our brains process information. To identify opportunity cost, it requires considering multiple possible outcomes and imagining different future scenarios, which is a cognitively demanding task for the brain. One of the key brain areas involved in decision-making is the prefrontal cortex, particularly the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex. This region is associated with executive function such as planning, cognitive flexibility, and abstract thinking, all of which are critical in recognizing opportunity costs. When considering an opportunity cost, our brain needs to hold several pieces of information in its working memory, compare potential outcomes, and consider the value of foregone alternatives. This can be very challenging, particularly when the opportunity cost is not immediately salient or when the decision must be made quickly. Moreover, our brain is particularly sensitive to immediate rewards and tends to prioritize present gains over potential future ones, a phenomenon known as temporal discounting or present bias, a mental shortcut I'll introduce in my later videos. Our brains have evolved to value immediate rewards because from a survival perspective, immediate rewards were often more critical than long-term ones. This here and now bias contributes to the neglect of opportunity costs, which often relate to potential future gains. Another mental shortcut that contributes to opportunity cost neglect is loss aversion. We tend to prefer avoiding losses over acquiring equivalent gains. Since opportunity costs represent a loss of potential benefits, we have a natural tendency to ignore or downplay them. Recognizing opportunity costs can have a significant impact on our decisions. Here is an experiment. Participants were offered a DVD at a special price. Initially, 75% of the participants were eager to snap up the deal. However, when they were prompted to consider the opportunity costs to mull over what else they could do with that money their enthusiasm dwindled. The number of potential DVD buyers dropped to just 55%. Imagine you've set your sights on product A priced at $500. You are willing to pay that amount and the product takes center stage in your mind. This is what we call the focal event. But attention is a scarce resource as we've learned in attentional bias. As you focus on product A, your focal event, you may inadvertently neglect to consider the benefits you could gain by spending that $500 elsewhere. This could be 
anything from spending quality time with your loved ones, buying enlightening books, or investing in learning a new musical instrument. However, opportunity costs only come into play if they are highlighted in a way that grabs our attention. They need to be bold and salient to shift our attention from the focal event. Think about those buy one get one free deals. They sound tempting, don't they? But there is a catch: to get the free item, you must have to make a purchase. If the item is something you absolutely need, the deal is worthwhile. But if the allure of a free item is fueling your decision, It's a good time to hit the pause button. Take a moment to consider the opportunity costs. The other ways you could use the money saved by refraining from the purchase. This extra layer of thinking can help curb impulsive purchases and lead to more mindful spending decisions. So the next time you see a deal that seems too good to pass up, remember to consider your opportunity costs. Recognizing opportunity costs asks us to actively broaden our perspective when making decisions, rather than narrowing our attention to the explicitly presented options. We need to explore other options. There is always another way, another path, another method to achieve our desired outcomes. In an organization. Demands from people, committees, and departments are endless, but resources are finite. Imagine that you are a decision maker, blessed with a budget earmarked to achieve a certain goal. Let's call it X. One possible route is to invest in program Y, which would cost you Z dollars per year. Do you approve this investment? Your choice set boils down to yes or no. Now let's frame your choice set differently. Yes, no, but save the funds for future programs. In this second version, the subtle wording "save the funds for other programs" brings the opportunity cost to the forefront of your mind. Studies have shown that when those cues are used, fewer people choose to invest in program Y. It's clear that a reminder of opportunity cost can dramatically sway decision making. Our minds seem to treat the opportunity cost of time quite differently from those of money. It's more common for us to set up mental accounts for our money than for our time. This is probably because the value of money is tangible and straightforward to compare over time. While、well, the value of time is ambiguous and harder and more difficult to quantify, moreover, we are prone to neglect the opportunity cost of time. And when we do consider it, we tend to focus on immediate costs rather than those that are incurred in the future. This reminds us to not only be judicious with our financial resources. But also with the invaluable, non-renewable resource that is our time. In professional settings, one of the most consistently overlooked opportunity costs is that of meetings. To ensure inclusion and transparency, women want to invite many people to every meeting. However, have we paused to tally the cumulative? Opportunity cost of those meetings. Imagine a recurring meeting that has five meeting goers: Abby, Blake, Cindy, Dante, and yourself. Each meeting consuming an hour of time per week. In this scenario, we are not just spending one hour; rather, we are committing five human hours every week to those meetings. Now, if we were to take each participant's hourly salary and aggregate it, the monetary cost would be staggering. Assuming a standard work year of approximately of about one thousand nine hundred and twenty hours, calculated at forty hours per week for four weeks a month over twelve months, even 
one single weekly meeting can cost as much as $10,750 a year. This number, however, is only the tip of the iceberg. We need to consider what this time could have otherwise been invested in. Work that demands highly focused attention, creative thinking, client engagement, or learning new skills. In essence, we are swapping valuable productive hours for meeting time. This is why meetings can be seen as one of the concealed line items in organizational budget. Of course, some meetings are unavoidable and necessary for progress and teamwork. But for those meetings aimed at one-way information broadcasting, there are numerous alternatives. Emails, newsletters, or recorded videos can often serve the same purpose without tying up everyone's time simultaneously. The next time you are considering convening a meeting, take a moment to weigh the opportunity costs. Remember, your meeting need not default to the traditional one-hour slot. Be considerate of everyone's time and aim to keep it as brief and effective as possible. By doing so, you save both time and money that can be used to build a more productive organization. Start observing your decision-making process and those of others around you. See if you can spot instances of opportunity cost neglect. Please feel free to share your comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.